Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and on our Build and Play guides today, we're going to be talking about the Buffalo. This is a ship I absolutely love. Uh, I This is very recent to me because I just unlocked this ooh, two days ago. So for you guys watching this, this video is recorded a little bit earlier to get ahead on videos. But this is very fresh to me, this ship. So this and the end of the Baltimore run. So one thing I will say is I don't know why people don't like this ship. It seems like this is a very unpopular ship. And to me, in almost every way, it's better than the Baltimore or as good as the Balti, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> before you go crazy on me here, guys, I'll even... I'll show you because I'm not sure why people don't like the the Buffalo. And I, I really do like the Buffalo a lot so far. Um, with that being said, it also plays like the Baltimore a lot. Um, so we'll go look at the stats here. You can see health 42,000 on the Baltimore. You can see reload at 11, AP at 5,700. It's only got... Nine guns that reload in 11 seconds. AA-77, 32 knots, 7-second rudder. I will say the uh, Buffalo rudder is a lot slower. Or it, it, Yeah, it's about double of that in concealment at 10. And we'll go look at the Buffalo. And you will look here, even without upgrades, it's 42,000. And that's without the hull upgrade. It reloads quicker and has 12 guns <laughs> and has about the same AP damage. The same, basically the same AA. It is slightly quicker, has a slightly bigger turning radius and a little bit worse rudder shift. Um, detectability is almost the same. And the armor on these two ships are almost identical. And with the upgrades, you do get the range like you do, plus 1.4 on, yeah, so you get it out to 18.6 on your range, and you get even more health. I'm not sure why people are not a big fan of the Buffalo. I absolutely love this. You get 5,000 more, and your reload gets even quicker. So not only do you have an extra turret with that has almost exact same damage, but it reloads much quicker. Two seconds quicker when this is fully upgraded than the Balti. So, and then the 180 turn time becomes essentially the same with the upgrade. So, not sure why people poop on the Buffalo and they love the Baltimore. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. So... I, uh, uh, like I said, I, I just got it. I love it. We'll talk about the commander now. Uh, it is Norman Scott. Now, like I said, with all these heavy cruisers, you definitely could do Einstein or Baltimore or any other one. Uh, I just happen to use Norman Scott for all mine to save a lot of my commander uh, stuff. This is Norman Scott with just a Popeye Geiss on it. And we have Kuzinov for... Uh, uh, main battery range and reload uh, with Membelli, Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, and Fixated. And definitely you want the fully packed, just like a Baltimore. So uh, we're going to go through here uh, at the upgrades. There is one difference on this one I did do. So we have Aiming Systems Mod 1 here, which is normal. I always like the accuracy. But here, instead of the Propulsion Mod... Uh, because of my play style, that rudder is a little bit slow on this ship. Uh, so I would much prefer to get the rudder down a little bit. So that'll get you down to, I think it's like 12.5 on this rudder. So I have been working on this ship very, you know, this is the ship, the line I just got done with. So I can assure you this is pretty fresh to me. Detectability, uh, concealment, obviously you're going to want and gunfire control system for the main battery uh, dispersion and range. You could actually do the main battery reload as well because if you had 12 8-inch guns reloading, would that be about every second? This is a, like a Des Moines. 
<laughs> I just it kind of baffles me. People don't like this ship as much as they do, and I think it might be because at tier eight. Uh, I notice this as well. Uh, I get stuck into legendary battles every every battle, and actually we'll go over to it really quick just so you can see it. Every battle I've been at legendary tier with a fully unupgraded tier eight ship, um, and you guys are gonna see my first match in it. I try to remember to show this off because I know people always uh, like to see the the. Uh, statistics on a ship, but you can see main gun accuracy, 57. That is incredible. Uh, but I've been playing pretty close quarters with this ship. And at Legendary, you know, I had one match where I went in uh, because of me being aggressive on destroyers where it didn't pan out. I did spot the destroyer, did get no damage. Uh, the That destroyer did die, however, uh, but I got no damage. Every other match before has been super consistent right at 70,000 all three other matches were right at 70,000 you can see my XP average is pretty good 1700 um, uh, and you can see potential damage of them are getting close to battleship numbers <laughs> I get shot at a lot in this thing and on a legendary tier uh, every match I've had I've been at the uh, bottom tier and uh I don't mind it. The ship can hold up to it, uh, but it's a fun ship. I really like the extra turret. Now, it can get you in trouble if you try to swing that extra turret out there too often. If you're not, if you do the, if you just hang it out there without doing the warship uh, wiggle just to get your butt out to get some rear turrets, you're okay if you do the warship wiggle. If you just go broadside, you're going to be in a lot of hurt, but at tier 8, hopefully I won't have to tell you that. So, at this, uh, for your consumables, you have sonar, radars, uh, you, you know, the usual, exactly, basically, what Balti has. Um, the heel might actually be slightly worse now that I come to think about it. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is actually slightly worse. 28 seconds. So that is the one thing that is a little worse. It isn't. It isn't crazy, so the heel isn't as good. But everything else on the Buffalo is better than the Balti. As we talked about the stats on it already, that reload, getting it down to 9 seconds, and if you took the reload mod, you know, if you did a reload build on this, this could be pretty potent as a heavy cruiser. Um, the only thing I would say on this is this 800, millimeter, this 800 meter turning circle. That is rough. You don't want to be making big turns Especially because you're going to be at Legendary Tier a lot. And uh, Legendary Tier ships have a tendency to be relatively accurate when they're dev striking a moron. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I have a tendency to once in a while be too aggressive and, and make a maneuver like that. Um, but anyway, uh, so you saw the statistics on it. And... Uh, this is a Baltimore. I mean, uh, it looks a little bit different, but pretty much everything to this is a Baltimore. You still have the, it is a 27 millimeter bow, so uh, at 27, you know, 16 inch guns are bigger, which pretty much everything at tier eight and legendary is that. There's some exceptions, but majority of battleships are that. So you don't want to bow tank battleships um, and your Citadel is exactly the same as the Baltimore. I mean, uh, it looks almost identical. It feels almost identical. This thing, I mean, can take a beating. Um, but, like I said, you're at Legendary tier, so you want to be a little bit... You're, you're fighting a lot of Legendary matches in this, so you want to be a little bit careful. But, so far, I absolutely love this ship. It is surprised me to all ends on how much i like it as we go ahead and start this match and check who we're up against i do want to say it is disclaimer time this is a beginner's guide to help out people just learning this ship or uh, learning the game in general this is not for professional gamers that know everything there is to know about everything there is also multiple ways to build and play ships so opinions will vary 
I am just a above average player. I don't claim to be the best player in the world. I just am a pretty darn good player. So I do make mistakes. You're going to see some in this match. And also, you didn't come to this video to see how to pronounce names, as I am very terrible at slaughtering other beautiful languages. It's almost an art form, so keep that in mind when you're watching this, guys. As I stated earlier, this is actually my first ever match that you guys are seeing. And I wanted to show this match because it plays like the Balti. You know, if you, if you kind of want to see the other cruiser lines... And, and more games that are like, you know, of how to play this. There's the whole playlist I have on heavy cruisers now that are out. Um, but this is a good example of how I play um, these heavy cruisers, as I am very aggressive. Um, but like I said, I am bottom tier. There is only one other, you know, there's only two tier eights it's all legendaries and i don't have any upgrades so i am really uh you know at a disadvantage here but uh, the reason i would decide to show this game is not just because it was my first one but also showing even if you're not in the fight forever you can make a huge impact in the game as you see i'm aggressive i like coming through this backside. i wasn't really going to push that hard but i see the cap is getting going in so i know there's a destroyer in there because the alaska was too far out and sure enough there is a shimikaze and if you guys don't know at this point i absolutely love wrecking destroyers it's like my favorite thing to do because it that is probably one of the most important things in the match is getting rid of destroyers and cap control as you can see uh this poor guy walked right into me while he was trying to run away from the other shimikaze I have a radar, so his smoke is not going to help him, and we are going to eliminate him very quickly. So I wanted to stay right in front of him so he didn't get torps off, but I, you know, at this point he's pretty screwed there. Um, and uh, right here, I was getting ready to get ready to turn to the left and try to get out of dodge, but there is a mino, um, and. If he comes around the corner, I can kind of sneak attack him. <laughs> uh, and I did get a Shimakaze already, so this has been a bonus. So uh, I don't want to suicide my ship, but at the same time, you can see, even with only the front guns, this thing smacks pretty hard. Uh, all four or, uh, um, four or two Citadels on the first one, and on the second... Salvo, three citadels. So I know it's a mino, but still, this thing has got a lot of power even without the rear guns. As you can see, my rear guns getting on tur it, um, you know, overturned. And four more citadels. And you can go ahead and see we get the rear turrets out. And we get rid of a mino. So uh, I thought this was a very good, you know, start to show you. Because this does happen a lot for me because I am... Uh, a very aggressive player uh, and I think you know obviously this wasn't ideal I would have liked to stay do alive um, I was hoping these battleships would be there so I could back up and get back more into the middle of the cap uh, but obviously they were not happy with me as I took out the Mino and Shimakaze which I don't blame them. And actually, these rear turrets actually have really good firing angles. You don't really have to open up uh, too much, but you can see, you know, against two uh, battleships, there's not a whole lot I can do at this distance. I have really, you know, put myself in a bad spot, but I will take a, a, me trading a tier eight with no upgrades for two legendary ships, especially when they're probably the two of the most important and arguably most important ships at legendary tier, being uh, Shimikaze, uh, just because it's what you know, arguably the best destroyer or one of the best, if not, and a Mino, which is also considered to be very good at legendary tier. So for me, it was a good trade off and it put my team in a very good position. And also an underrated thing about that, me pushing in like that, and, and the reason I sometimes will do it, is with that radar, 
it can get you in trouble, but it can let your team know. Like our team was able to know what was all hiding behind that mountain. And I think that helped as well, not just getting rid of the Shimakaze and uh, the Minotaur, but also just having it. They have an idea of knowing what's around coming around that corner. So, again, um, love the ship. I cannot wait to you know play it a lot more. It's probably moving forward. Up. And I like the challenge of going against Legendary Tears with it, so... I would really think that range upgrade, once you get it, you can really do a lot with it. Um, because that legendary tier range range can can be a game changer more than other tiers, I think. Uh, you know, tier 8 in legendary tier, the ranges play a big factor in that. Um, and like I said, be careful and try to get them returns out. They have a good firing angle, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But um, as you can see it, even though that was only about three minutes, that was three minutes of Fury, and it was very fun. And that match kind of shows you what uh, how aggressive I am. That I'm not, you know, I'm not normally scared of stuff, and uh, I don't have that no factor a lot of times where I'm willing to actually go ahead uh, and push in. Just you know, because I'm low tier doesn't mean I can't make a huge difference in a match. And while it was three minutes, you can see I am going to end up second on the leaderboard because getting rid of a Mino and a Chimikaze fully in, you know, defending the cap, that's worth it. And I will take that trade every day. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one. <laughs>